Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This time I'd like to take a look at Aida Web and build a simple Hello World application, pretty much the simplest demo you could possibly build using Aida Web. So we're just going to bring up a page that has Hello World on it in text. So what we need to do is create a subclass of web application. Now it's probably worthwhile taking a look at web application in detail, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to declare a subclass. We're going to go over and define a method called ViewMain. And view main is kind of the main entry point for Aida Web web applications is how they render themselves. So you look in here and we've created a web element, which is an element that knows how to render HTML. And we tell it to add a text h1, hello world. And then down here we have to tell this element to add itself to our page as it were, self add element. Now you see these two things I've commented out. These are additional ways of getting things to show up on the page that I'll walk through in just a moment. We're going to do this kind of the simplest thing first. But we're not quite done yet. We've written the element, but we haven't registered it with Aida Web. So what we have to do is go to a workspace or something similar, grab Aida site default, and register our application, Hello World, the class, on some URL, Hello. So I've already done this, and that's almost enough to get things working. The other thing you have to do is you have to go down here to the security link. If you go to localhost 8888, it should be running if you've installed um, Aida Web and Faro. Go to security, go to user guest, and then down towards the bottom, and I'm going to make this a little smaller so you can see it because I'm outside the window. So let's go all the way to the bottom, access rights, go to hello world, this is your application. And down here, notice view main, it'll say no, you want to change it to yes so that you have access. Now once you've done that, you can go right up here and just put in hello. And you could have changed this to hello.html, it's all a matter of what you put into that workspace. So you can make that URL pretty much look anything like anything you want. And this is kind of the simplest possible hello world. Let's go over here though and change things a bit. Let's comment this out. And this gets me to one thing that drives me a little nuts about Faro, the way it tries to autocomplete double quotes kind of drives me bats. So we'll uncomment that. We'll comment that out and take this one and put it into play. And what this does is say page frame wide, no navigation. So let's see what that does. And we'll go ahead over here to our Chrome browser. And you notice to put the title bar up here, but no navigation links. So we've kind of got a default title bar, but no navigation. Finally, let's go down here, comment this guy out. Again, having to deal with this Faro completion thing. We'll comment that out, and then we'll come down here, uncomment this last one. And these are not necessarily the ones you want to use. The most important thing to notice here is this after I compile this. Self style, so you grab the style sheet for this guy and tell it how to frame the page. And you can go ahead and customize that as well. Let's just go ahead and take a look at how this one works. We'll go over here to our browser, reload, and you notice we get the navigation links. So it's pretty easy to create these elements and put style sheets and a title bar on top of your application or just have it come up plain as I did the first time. And that's really all there is to getting a Hello World application working in Aida Web. It's very simple and it kind of builds up from there and you can get JavaScript and Ajax things working pretty easily in this thing too. We'll get to that in some of the future screencasts I plan on Aida Web. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.